Hey, 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 all you perfectionists. Welcome to Perfect Edition Comics. I'm your host, Perfect. And today, we're going to take a look at manga new releases for April 2021. Let's do this thing. So first of all, I should just put in a few disclaimers since uh, everyone in the comments is always like, hey, you missed this book, you missed that book. So first of all, I don't cover every single manga release because this video would be about 10 hours long, but I do try and touch on what's interesting to me and hopefully what's interesting to you too. So if you don't see something, please check with your local retailer or direct with the publisher yourself. And also I should say with COVID and everything going on in the world and the craziness of publishing, Dates are subject to change, so just check them uh, as things come out. Yeah, okay. Without further ado, on with the video. First up, we've got Viz. And we're kicking off with a big hitter. This is Love Sickness by Junji Ito. And this is another Junji Ito hardcover story collection. And this collects uh, some stories called Love Sickness, The Strange, Hiki, Zuri, Siblings, and The Rib Woman. It is for older teen audiences, will be in stores April 21st, and goes to $22.99. Next we have Call of the Night Volume 1, a new series from Viz. When Nazuna invites Ko to spend the night at her place in an abandoned building, he's stoked. But then he awakens to kisses on his neck with a little too much bite to them. Is it just the delicious taste of his blood that makes him meet him night after night for late night adventures, conversation and naps or something else? Then when a cute girl from Yamori's past shows up and competes for his attention, his budding relationship with the undead is put to the test. April 14th for $9.99. Next one of my first pick of the month, this is Asadora Volume 2. I am a huge Naoki Urasawa fan, so this is top of the list for me. A deadly typhoon, a mysterious creature, and a girl who just won't quit. April 21st for $14.99. Next we have something that many, 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 as usual, many people are looking forward to, and this is Chainsaw Man, of course, and we're up to volume 4 already. This will be in stores April 7th, and goes for $9.99. Next, another big hitter is Jujutsu Kaisen. We're already on volume 9. This is also in stores April 7th and also for $9.99. Next, something that's sadly coming to an end and I'm looking forward to getting this in the box set when it comes out later this year. This is of course Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba volume 21. Apparently this ends at volume 23 so you have just two more volumes to go if you've been collecting this in the single Tankobans. This comes in stores April 7th and goes for $9.99. Next, another ongoing long fan favorite series, of course, One Piece. We're already on volume 96, almost up to that notorious volume 100 count. This is in stores April 7th as well and also goes for $9.99. Then we have a favorite of mine, Golden Kamui volume 21 by Satoru Noda. This is in stores April 21st and goes for $12.99. And then something that's a little bit newer, this is Moriarty the Patriots. So if Sherlock and kind of the old English vibe is your thing, then you probably want to take a look at this. It's based on Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's writing with a bit of a manga twist thrown in as well. This is the third volume, it's in stores April 7th and goes for $9.99. And then we have another fan favorite shonen title, Dr. Stone. We're up to volume 16. This is in stores April 7th and goes for $9.99. Moving on with fan favorite shonen titles, we have of course My Hero Academia Volume 27, also in stores April 7th and also goes for $9.99. Then we have something with a little bit of a different tone, this is Komi Can't Communicate Volume 12 by Tomohito Oda. This will be in stores April 14th and goes for $9.99. Next we have Ultraman up to Volume 15 already. This is in stores April 21st and goes for $12.99. You might have noticed that I've blanked out the solicitation information in this video. That's simply because I don't want you to get any spoilers. So for a lot of these ongoing titles, I've done that. For newer ones, I'll of course read through the solicit with you and give you a bit of a taste of what the manga is about. Having said that, let's move on to Persona 5. This is Persona 5 based of course on the big hit game that's been out for quite a while, if not many years now. And this is up to volume 6 already. This is by Hisato Murasaki and will be in stores April 14th for $9.99. Let's see what Kodansha has for us. First up, a big, big pick of the month for me. This is something very close to my heart. This is, of course, the epic Viking saga, Vinland Saga. 
Although this is the cover art for the Japanese volume uh, 23 Tankoban, this is actually the announcement for volume 12 hardcover, which is a two-in-one Kanzenban deluxe edition released by Kodansha. I have put a bit of a flag on this saying date subject to change because when I looked at kind of local shops, Amazon, online, everywhere else, they, they all listed for April 14th, but Kodansha itself doesn't list it for that date. So I'm guessing this might be delayed. Already there is a large delay on Vinland Saga volumes. I think we get maybe one per year at this stage because we're almost caught up to the Japanese release dates. Having said that, keep in mind volume 12 is on its way, maybe April, who knows. But yeah, you really want to pick this one up. I can't recommend it enough. It comes out supposedly April 14th and goes for $22.99. Next, we have the Fairy Tale box set volume 4. So this new box set collects volumes 34 to 43, which is a total of 10 volumes. I think it probably comes with a poster or something as well. They normally do. Oh no, it actually says sticker sheet. So there you go. You'll get some stickers alongside this. This comes out April 28th and goes for $109.90. Next up, we have a classic in a reprint format. So this is the Shaman King or Shaman King, however you want to pronounce it. Omnibus Volume 2. So this is a 600 page omnibus edition and it collects three volumes in one. This being the second book, it collects volumes four through six of the original Tankoban release. This will be in stores April 14th and goes for $19.99. Next we have something that I've made many bad punny jokes about. This is of course Attack on Titan. We're up to volume 33 already. I've wiped the solicitation out so there's no spoilers for you. This comes out April 28th and goes for $10.99. Next, we have something which many people are really enjoying, a somewhat new series called Blue Period. This is already up to volume 4, which comes out April 14th for $12.99, but I will give you a bit of kind of information about this in case this is the first time you're hearing. So this is brought to us by Subasa Yamaguchi, and it was the winner of the 2020 Manga Taisho Grand Prize. It's a manga about the struggles and rewards of a life dedicated to art. Popular guy Yatora realizes he's just going through the motions to make other people happy and finds himself in a new passion, painting. But untethering yourself from all your past expectations is dangerous as well as thrilling. Next we have Heroic Legend of Aslan, Volume 14. This is brought to us by the creator of Full Metal Alchemist. So if you like that, then you'll probably be into this as well. It's a bit of a fantasy kind of angle too. This comes out April 14th for $10.99. Next we have Rent a Girlfriend Volume 6. I've said this in a few videos before, I'm really into this because of the anime. I haven't actually read any of the manga, but if the anime is kind of anything to go by, I'm guessing this is pretty cool as well. This comes out April 14th and goes for $12.99. Next we have a follow up to Battle Angel Alita. This is Battle Angel Alita Mars Chronicle. And this is Volume 7, brought to us by Yukito Kishiro. For centuries, wars raged on the dusty red surface of Mars. This apocalyptic crucible will produce the solar system's most fearsome warrior, Alita. But for now, that warrior is just a little girl named Yoko. The future and past of the battle angel fan out across the reaches of space in the final chapter of one of the greatest sci-fi epics of all time, April 14th, 1099. Next we have Wave Listen to Me Volume 6, brought to us of course by Hiroaki Samura, who is the legendary creator of the Blade of the Immortal series. This comes out April 21st and goes for $12.99. Let's see what Vertical has for us this April. First up we have Bako Monogatari Volume 8. From the best-selling novel series by renowned author Nisio Sin comes the manga adaptation of the Monogatari series artwork by the legendary Ogre Eto. This comes to you on April 14th and goes for $12.95. Next we have something based on a classic anime Kino's Journey. This is Kino's Journey Beautiful World Volume 8. Kino's Journey is about a character named Kino who travels around the world with a talking motorcycle named Hermes. Together they travel to different countries and meet the inhabitants there. Kino's policy is to only stay three days in every town without exception saying it's enough time to learn about each place and moving on to explore the next new place. In stores April 28th for $12.95. Next we have Witchcraft Works Volume 15. Based on the anime series, Witchcraft Works is a romantic comedy where magic and supernatural, or supernational, really? That might be a typo. 
Supernational powers shape the lives of a handful of high school kids. Takamiya Honaka is just an ordinary high school student who sits next to Kagari Ayaka, the princess of the school, and has never said a word to her. However, one day, when Takamiya's life is put in danger, Kagari arrives to his rescue and it's revealed that Kagari is what is known as a workshop witch within the city and Takamiya is under her protection. In stores April 14th for $12.95. Let's see what Dark Horse has for us. First up we have Miss Koizumi Loves Ramen Noodles Volume 3. It's ramen, it's cooking... Yeah, April 7th, $10.99. Next we have Danganronpa number 2 Goodbye Despair Volume 3. Wait, let me get that right. So this is Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair 3. This is apparently the final volume in this. So if you've been following this and you're a big, big uh, Danganronpa fan, then don't miss out on this one. It's the conclusion to the whole Goodbye Despair miniseries. It's in stores April 14th and goes for $12.99. Let's see what Seven Seas has this April. And sailing on the seven seas first, sorry, that was horrible, forgive me, is Die Dark number one. This is by Q Hayashida, uh, the manga car that bought us Doro He Doro. So if you're a fan of that, if you've been watching on Netflix or you've been reading the manga, then this is something you're probably going to want to check out. Don't miss out on this. Comes out April 28th and goes for $13.99. Next, we have another number one new series. This is Failure Frame, volume one by Kaori Shinozaki. Mimori Tauka and his classmates are abruptly catapulted into a fantasy world. Wait, 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 what? Fantasy world? This sounds so familiar. Oh, it's another isekai. <laughs> okay, anyway. Summoned by the world's resident goddess to serve as heroes. The good news, most of the students display amazing skills upon arrival. The bad, Mimori is the worst of the lot. Wait, didn't we do this in Shield Hero? Anyway, carrying on. Botting him out, bottoming out at a measly E rank. Incensed, the goddess tosses him in a dungeon to die. But it turns out Memory skills aren't so much worthless as they are abnormal. Abnormally powerful, perhaps? April 7th for $12.99. Next, we have Muscles Are Better Than Magic, a comedic fantasy romp where one man's amazing muscles overcome every magical challenge. Wow. That sounds cool, but the art looks kind of trash though, I've got to say. Anyway, April 7th, $12.99. Talking about muscles, we have How Heavy Are The Dumbbells You Lift, Volume 6. Sakura is a teenage girl who loves to eat, but when she notices her waistline expanding, she decides to check out the local gym. The gym is full of buff dudes, and Akami, the student council president? When Akami tries to convince Sakura to take up weight training, Sakura resists until she meets pretty boy trainer Machio. Now Sakura is willing to do whatever it takes to bulk up. That's right, gym manga. You know you want it. April 7th, $12.99. Next, we have Tomomo Chanza Fox Volume 2. Volume 1 just came out the other day, so they're hitting this up pretty on a monthly basis, it looks like, which is cool. Tomomo, fa <laughs> Tomomo is a fox from the Anadi Shrine in Kyoto, who may or may not also be a goddess. She longs to try high school and all the fun and drama they're in, so she transforms into a human girl. But her technique isn't perfect, so she doesn't change completely. Adults don't seem to notice her furry form, and her classmates pretend that she's like the other girls. But Tomomo is definitely shaking up their ordinary high school life. April 21, $12.99. Next we have Ancient Megas Bride Volume 14. This comes out April 28th and goes for $12.99. Then we have my next Life as a Villainess Volume 5. When a woman is reborn into an Otome video game as the Villainess, how can she play to win? At the age of 8, Katarina, a girl of noble birth in another world, has an accent. Wait, another world? No, this can't be. Is this an isekai? Hmm, so weird. So strange. There's so few of them out there. Anyway, she has an accident that unlocks her memories of playing an Otome game that's exactly like the life she's living now. There's one problem, she realizes that she's playing the role of the villainess, and only bad endings await her. What will it take for her to break the game and live a happy life? April 7th, 1399. Next up we have Alice and Zoroku Volume 8. A group of young girls possess a mysterious power known as Alice's Dream, which gives them the ability to turn their thoughts into reality. 
detained and experimented upon, these youths are locked away in secret until one of them manages to escape. Her name is Sana, a girl with the power to ignore the very laws of physics. When this willful powerhouse crosses paths with a stubborn old man named Zoroku, his carefully ordered life will never be the same again. April 28th, 1299. Let's see what Yen Press has for us. So I'm a Spider, So What? Volume 9. April 21, $13. Then something which a couple of people have been talking about and really like, and I've just noticed has the wrong volume cover for the solicit. But hey, this is Cirque de Freak, Tunnels of Blood. Well, no, Tunnels of Blood will be Volume 3. This is the Cirque de Freak Manga Omnibus Volume 2 by Darren Shan and Takahiro Arai. The hit series from the internationally acclaimed author Darren Shan is now available in the deluxe oversized omnibus. April 21, $24. Next, we have a spin-off series for people that are in love with toilet-bound Hanoko-kun. And this is After School Hanoko-kun. The ghostly Hanako-kun and his mortal assistant Nene Yashiro usually have their hands full resolving various supernatural incidents in Kamomeya Academy. But how do they spend their time when they get a break from all that? Come and see what the characters of Toilet Bound Hanako-kun do on their laid-back after-school days. April 21st, $13. Then another new series we have I'm the Cat Lord's Manservant and really I put this in because the cover was just boss man, look at this. All these cats, it's just catrific. Okay, I'll give up, but I'll tell you what it's about. Izumi Yukihara, high school second year. His life is completely average, until a series of misfortunate events turn his life upside down. As if losing his parents wasn't enough, he's saddled with their massive debt and forced to relocate to a new residence. On the bright side, the owners of this new residence offer him a chance to repay his debt. By serving cats? April 28th, $13. Then something that really I will probably never read, but it just kind of caught my eye as another crazy, silly isekai thing, which I thought I'd share with you. This is If the RPG World Had Social Media Volume 1. Let me read that for you again. If the RPG World Had Social Media. Yeah, that's where we're going right now, Manga. You do your thing. When a fantasy world has fully functioning internet and smartphones, for some reason, it's only natural for its 16-year-old shut-in Oh yeah, of a hero to declare war on the demon lord, wait, a demon lord, never heard that before, who has kidnapped the kin kingdom's princess by a text message. Oh gosh. But is it natural for that demon lord to be an innocent snowflake who hates conflict? And somehow this hopelessly weak level one hero ends up texting this overly pure demon lord, her cheerful generals who all adore her, and the princess who also seems to be valid developing a major crush on a captor as he goes about these ventures. Yeah, I, I don't know. Buy it April 21st for $13 if you want to laugh, I guess. And that's that for April new releases. Please remember to like that like button, comment down below on what you're going to buy this month. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing with your life? It's just a button. Hit it. You're going to help a brother out. And remember, stay perfect. See ya.